Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Foreman. It's actually been over a month and a half since I uttered those. Boy, how does time fly? Anyway, we are back here in Europa Universalist. And this time, um, I ran a poll on what countries people wanted to see. And it was a tie between Serbia and uh, take a Dutch miner from the Netherlands. And because it was a tie, I decided to break it and go with Holland, just because the Balkans are changing. Florence was the third um, country chosen, and Italy, of course, is going to change a lot next patch. However, the next patch has been delayed to next year, which is why I've returned so quickly to this game. Uh, also because the Minecraft series I was doing, for some reason all the achievements in it were getting locked. So if you guys haven't watched that, um, Please do. It was pretty good for quite some time. So, Netherlands. So the easiest way I'm going to try and do this is with Holland. Holland, of course, shares its ideas with the Dutch ideas. Lots of sailors, naval force, inflation reduction, trading, merchants, development costs, uh, naval leader fire, state maintenance, tolerance of heretics, siegeability, land fire damage, and trade efficiency. So the achievement that this is all headed for, because of course I'm doing an achievement run, uh, the idea is to get Sinapel. Assuming I'm saying that horribly wrong. Anyhow, get around just in power with 100% Republican tradition and own a province in China. So first thing we have to do is form the Netherlands so we can get the Dutch government. And uh, that's going to be slightly easier said than done because we... Start under personal union under Burgundy. So, let us see what we can do about that. So, first things first, getting independent should be relatively easy. Uh, I'll do my best to do that. If not, I'll just restart. And you guys will probably never see this. So, first things first is to find out who actually hates Burgundy. Which, in this case, already looks like people do. So, um, who can I ask for independence? I can ask for the... Austria, I can ask for to anyone else who particularly hates Burgundy. The Danes hate them, but they don't like me enough, so let's improve relations. And then we will try and get the English on our side. And we probably are going to want some more ships, but I'll delay doing that for a little while. In the meantime, we will start protecting trade in the English trade node. Um, okay, I'll do it that there. Return to war. Return home at the end of war. And let's start exploiting our estates a bit. There we are. Big military power lead, which we're going to need. Luckily, the Burgundy leader, Philip the Third actually has some pretty nice stats, so we should be able to get a nice little lead. Um, we don't have any particular missions, so we have to form the Netherlands to get those. In order to form the Netherlands, we need to own, well, those provinces. So we need Geltry, Breda, Friesland, and Utrecht. I probably said that wrong. Um... And we have to get Admin Tech 10. So it's going to be a while. First priority, of course, getting our independence. Figuring out where we're going for there. So I'm going to hire a military advisor. And a admin advisor. And then we'll see where that puts us once everything's done. Here we go. Austria has accepted a support for independence treaty. Is there any way... Oh, I support independence. Obviously, England's. England, I guess I didn't get that going earlier. And then the next likely one is probably the Dutch. Although I don't know why the Dutch are not on that list. Since Brigandine army opinion, I guess. Unfortunately, France doesn't dislike them. So, other things to do. We have a lot of liberty desire. Let's insult these guys. There we go. That way, if their leader dies, there's a chance we break free anyhow. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yeah. And now we wait, honestly. 
Um, there's not much else we can do other than build up our military. Okay. That and drill, obviously. I could technically start an independence war. Um, can't ally any of their other subjects, unfortunately. They all seem to be reasonably loyal. I suppose I could start the war, but I'm worried about France um, beating up England in the meantime. Did Burgundy rival anybody else? Still exactly who we had before. We do have a mission. We'll definitely save that for when we try and get loose. How, how are we doing on trade? Okay. Other things I need to do. First, I want to get claims going on specifically Breda and Antwerp would be the big targets. Antwerp because of the trade, Breda because we need it to form the Netherlands. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to getting uh, Vlanderen either. Since we'll see. Uh, let's hire another advisor. Diplo reputation might give us a little bit of an edge to getting De Denmark on our side. Okay, the English and French are at war, so I don't have to worry about that. Unfortunately, it's happening, but... Uh, If Burgundy attacks England, probably won't do anything either during that war. Normally I'd be trying to fight a war for independence, but unfortunately France does not support our independence, which is annoying. Maybe if they kick out Burgundy they might. I'm also not going to spend any admin power developing the land because later on the Dutch get a modifier that 25% uh, on Holland itself or uh, Antwerp not yeah, yeah no Amsterdam there we go plus we it's a nice province but we are already going to get the Renaissance when it fires anyway so no particular rush oh that's Amsterdam up here interesting Oh, it's the hog. The <laughs> forgot that the hog is the capital of the Netherlands, or at least the admin center. Honestly, though, I'm happy to keep this ruler in power for now. He's definitely one of the better starting rulers in the game with that monarch points. The thing to watch out for is, of course, the. Uh, Lowlands inheritance, but that only happens if Burgundy's in a defensive war. And pretty much as soon as they are in a war, we're going to attack them with the help of Austria. It's a shame that these guys are loyal, though. Okay, Breda. Um, I don't have the cash. Can I get the cash to get that event? Yes. Hire him. Free stability, even though for 19 gold, making the burgers slightly unhappy, I think a stability is worth it. I'm getting a lot of money from trade, which is good. <laughs> it's fluctuating right between high and low trade income, so the burgers are both sometimes have 20 influence and sometimes have 30. Right there, see? Every month it seems to fluctuate. Come on, England. Just give up. Whoa, wait a second. How did France get the pale? Oh. England managed to annoy everybody. Wow. Including Scotland. That's why Scotland's in the war. Well... England may lose its colonial possessions, but it's definitely going to get Scottish possessions, probably. Assuming they don't lose their fleet. I don't... I simultaneously want England to lose, but at the same time I really don't want an overly strong France on my doorstep. 
Denmark. We're getting up there. If we can get at a little bit higher that reputation and relation with Holland, uh, Holland to Denmark, we may be able to get them involved. If we can get them involved, I'm going to attack Burgundy pretty much immediately because Austria would help. Of course, if Austria helps, uh, that would be a big benefit. I don't think I can sway Castile to my side. I'd love to. Yeah, I'd really have to get them higher. <laughs> okay. Scotland should fall soon to England, and that means England will pick up... I assume England's going to pick up Scottish provinces. The AI tends not to let that opportunity slide. Okay, we got enough here for another claim on Antwerp. Oh, what's going on here? Brabant... Brabant... Brabantian. Pretender rebels. Interesting. But the King of Burgundy hasn't died. Strange. Oh, it's not going to make any difference. The AI is promptly crushing them. Honestly, even if I can just get these two provinces, pick up another 25 development, we already have 45. That would put us at 70 or so. If we could get Vlander in either, that might be too much to ask, picking up four provinces in an independence war. We should end up with a tech lead here, though. Okay, we can get support independence from Denmark. Okay, now if I were to attack these guys, they would all join, but so would Milan. How strong is Austria? <laughs> Thanks. Um, positive opinion. Austria is 20,000. Denmark is 14,000. England, obviously, is not going to be a huge factor in any war. Um, okay, Scotland actually didn't lose land, which is odd. I'm really tempted right now to launch this war. Yeah, let's try it. It's first episode. If I die, I just go back to the starting board. Try again. Um, we are going to launch independence. We have a new king, John the Third D. Hemsterk. Really have no idea what that actually, you know, means for my country. But uh, ooh, I'm gonna take the debt. I'm gonna take the debt. Oh, it's massively in our favor. Okay, good. I just have to survive. Which is going to be easier said than done, because we're about to get stack wiped. And I missed that chance to get the improvement to my army. Oh, we won? <laughs> we won that fight. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting to win that fight. Um, I'll take the army professionalism, and I'll raise another unit there. Okay, hopefully our allies can actually get here. It looks like they can't. Oh, they of course they can't, because Austria's uh, Emperor of the HRE. That should that should solve the problem, right? Yep, Holland's and more together with an Emperor. Awesome. I'm not likely to attack anybody this war, though. I'm probably going to stay out of it to a large degree. I might just siege down lands. Yeah, this is why I'm not going to go on the offense. Look at that army coming from my capital. And they're going to catch me. Great. That's annoying. Um, we'll make them bleed for it, though. So we're going to have superior morale. And we're going to have superior discipline. And we're still going to get crushed. Um, I will 
support the philosopher over the clergy. And apparently I'm going to retreat all the way to Denmark, because that's what happens. Thank you, Military Axis. And I'm about to get a cat. Hello, cat. Cat has arrived for attention. Okay. I just hope this war can't trigger the um, succession. The um... Oh, it was called... Uh, the Brigadian Inheritance. But considering I'm fighting this war, I hope it doesn't end up with them being able to take over my land easily. Okay, Austria is attacking their capital region. So far, the war is technically in our favor. How is that? Oh, because of the blockades. And I control my capital for, for good for a while, actually. They backed off, which is slightly odd, actually. Okay. Come on, you guys. I need you to group up and actually attack them. None of this pussyfooting around. I need... I need you guys to actually attack. See, the problem is nobody can directly beat him without all their, like, Holland and the Swedes working together. Which is a slight problem. See, look at this. They should be sieging something. AI sometimes. I don't. Oh, they're off sieging Milan, some of them. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. That, however, if that capital falls, it will be the end of it for me. I believe I'll be pretty much auto forced to peace. <sighs> okay, what's going on? Okay, the Swedes have arrived, and the Danish. And they are starting a siege. I'm going to very riskily move my army into there. The only thing I've got going for me is we do have way more troops. We just have to actually use them properly. So let's do this. Build the force limit. There we go. Cheaper maintenance. More morale. A little bit more morale. They have not hit Miltech 4, which actually gives my entire alliance a advantage here. 49%. Oh, Austria. Why are you letting your capital fall? Austria is being a bit stupid there. Hopefully Sweden will solve the problem. Nope, Sweden is withdrawing back to here. If Austria pieces out, we could win the war without Austria. But it will be a lot harder. I'm surprised my fort is surviving as long as it is. Come on, AI. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Yes, I'm actually rooting for an AI to do a good job in this game. <laughs> Knowing how unlikely that is. Okay, Milan got pieced out. I think that means I can... Yeah, reparations and out. Okay, Milan is gone. Of course, the Austrian capital has fallen, but... <sighs> little bit, little bit of progress. Hopefully, yeah, sweet. No, I don't know what Sweden's up to. Hopefully one of them will go deal with that. We actually got Holstein involved in this war. There's a unlikely event to have happened, considering Holstein disappears really quickly. And the English have actually landed. Well done, England. Okay, I'm going to allow other armies to attach to my army. Maybe if I can get the English army, or the Swedes even, we might have a shot at kicking them off my capital. Of course, we... Probably you'll have a good shot here as the war continues, as long as I don't lose automatically. Um, let's see, what do I want? I want... Uh, 
where is it? Grant independence. Okay, and then we want this, this. That would already annoy everybody, those two provinces. Wow. I could take those two. I would not get Antwerp. That's a bit of a problem. Also, I can't make peace yet because the AI doesn't want peace. We're going to continue this video till we get independence. That way, if I fail... That way, if I fail, you guys won't see this. <laughs> okay. Um, not getting France was a serious issue for this plan. Okay, we have lost our capital. I am not going to try and defend England's army. I don't think I can't even get to the battle. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, okay, England got away. Okay, this is actually not bad. England got not only did England get away, but we now have twenty thousand retaking my capital. Okay. Austria's capital obviously is still occupied. England really does want to leave the war, but they are here for now. Come on, if they can take the capitals here, we can really start pushing them back. Ah, oh, they're going after England and Sweden, it looks like. Okay, we won the we we took our capital, so that's good. Once we form the Netherlands, we should probably get automatic claims on most of this area anyhow. Um, so it's just a matter of winning the war now, which we actually seem to have a pretty good shot at. Unfortunately, Austria apparently moved all their troops instead of taking their capital. We have virtually no legitimacy, and we have very low prestige. And we have a general who really can't fight a war. Okay, that was lucky I didn't accidentally attack the AI. Austria really needs to take that capital. Okay, Austria is in the war now, is interested in it. You know what, I should probably start improving relations with my neighbors, um, neighboring countries. That way when I do take two provinces, hopefully I don't instantly die to a coalition. What is up, cat? The cats. I don't know what you call what the cat's doing. He's not meowing at me, he's kind of doing a weird purrish rumble at me. I guess he's asking for attention. Hello, cat. Okay. That's going good. This Austrian capital was both hard to lose and apparently hard to retake. Okay. They've kind of split their forces, our opponent, here. Some are up here. Burgundy is actually down there itself. It's a shame we didn't get uh, Franche-Comte, Franche-Comte, I guess, because that would have been really useful. Um, I'm going to pay off this loan while I have money. I suspect if we take... Okay, we've taken that fort. I'm going to try and take out... take Rethel if we can. Okay, we've taken Rathal. Is that enough for what we want? I don't actually know. And I just cancelled the automation. Darn. Um, okay. Okay, if I were to sign peace with you now, what would you do? You'd just give me peace. I don't want peace. Wow, taking that one province is that expensive. Okay, um, neighboring countries. I will technically have an alliance of the Danes, the Austrians, and the English to survive a co potential coalition, of course, but that would be risky. Okay, 62%. This must be getting closer now. 
that's a lot of people who would be angry with me. Okay. Or I don't take that and I take that instead. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Why can I do that, but I can't do that? Weird. Okay, we're going to keep the war going then. Because apparently I can wipe out Flanders and get Breda without triggering a coalition. But apparently taking Antwerp, of all things, causes a problem. And so long as my allies will stick with me for a little while longer. England got kicked out of the war, but their army is still on the field. Okay, um... Are we... We're, we're fighting that battle, I guess. Or... Not. No, we shouldn't fight that battle. We're just going to automatically lose it. Um, Austria's army is on the way. Good. Denmark is still willing to stay in the war. Austria is the one that's a little bit unhappy. Is England's the one unhappy. Austria is fine. Okay. Come on, allies. This is where you work together. I suppose they do have to go defend their lands. They've got Miltec 4, they're still 3, they are 3-2, so that's not good. Now Austria is enthusiastic about the war. Making gains, yeah. Making gains by occupying land. Okay, Austria is sieging, I'm sieging, they're going to retake land. Ugh. It's just too good of an opportunity here. It really is to try and take more land. Uh, let's do naval doctrine. We want trade power. We've lost Brabant. That's not good. Austria is retreating in the face of Philip, who's a very good general. Okay. Hostile sieges on Antwerp, not going too badly. Holstein is about to reoccupy its lands. Oh, the Austrians are actually attacking somebody. And they're going to get clobbered. Darn. At least they didn't get stack wiped, so positives. How long can Burgundy sustain this war? They are low on manpower. Um... Allies. Denmark can't sustain it much longer either. England can. Austria definitely can. However, England has rebels at home. We've taken that. Um, I'm going to kick these guys off that siege if we can. Come on, do it quickly, do it quickly, do it quickly. Okay, we did it quickly. They didn't attack us. Wow, okay. Okay, now they're attacking us. Can we retreat? No. This is going to be a battle here. We can't retreat. We can't withdraw. We can't win the battle. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. We might get stack wiped. Honestly. Darn. Yep, stack wiped. Isn't that lovely? Okay, we've got to win this war for independence, so obviously we are fully committed to the war. Not enough war score, of course. Come on, allies, this is where a great alliance should win a war. They outnumber them. England left. Darn. Um... Independence. Maybe I just take Breda and leave. It seems like such a wimpy move, though, when we've got overwhelming strength in the war. We've got twice their troops, and we still can't win this. Ugh, AI is... Any human army would have won this by now. Oh, please attack that. 
Okay, they're really wanting to fight that battle, so I should get in positions. I'm not going to be able to probably swing the battle that much, but might as well have my troops there. Oh, and we're going to stay allied to England. Good. Come on, this is our opportunity. They are not attacking, okay. Don't just go around them. Ugh, idiots. Okay, they backed off for the moment. We've lost that siege, yeah. Come on, AIs. It's one sill army. At least everybody's staying in the war for the moment. Okay, take that. Good. All we need is Vlander in here. And apparently they picked a fight and they're going to win it because no one was in position. Darn. Um... Burgundy out of troops. Nope, somehow they've got 4,000 again. Must be um, slackening recruiting standards, I'm going to guess. But as usual, our alliance retreats in complete disorder. And Austria apparently attacked a small Burgundian army and lost. Gugh. Dumb AIs as usual. Come on, team. Let's hold this, hold it together here. Okay, that's a stack wipe on one of Burgundy's armies. And they're going to take out my army again. Or maybe not. I think they are. Here comes Austria. Here comes everybody else. No, they won. Denmark had showed up with its last bit of troops. We might have won that fight. Because we didn't take Vlander in, we can't obviously make peace for that territory either. <sighs> oh boy. You have to be impressed here. This Burgundy is... Pretty much doing a godlike run right now. They've been they were outnumbered what four to one? And now they're winning almost. It's sickeningly impressive. And of course I can't directly fight them, which is the problem. Having to rely on AIs is never the best solution in the game. Just war exhaustion, I guess. Just got to keep the grind going, I guess. Slowly eat at them. Burn their manpower. Oh my gosh. We can't even win this fight. I need a new general, to be honest. My general sucks. This is like a horribly incompetent commander. Um, recruit a general. Much, 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 much better. It's a shame it took me this long to get him. Two thousand. Okay. They're sieging his lands to the south. So if they don't lose the lands to the north, we might actually have a shot. And this is going to be a long episode, isn't it? I thought this war would be over. Considering the one-sidedness of it. Now I'm going to start to fall in debt because I just got all that given away. Um, let the Duke have his heart's desire. We're now, of course, losing cash. However, our allies are sieging faster than they are. Small mercies. 
Come on. Beat Burgundy here, allies. Don't be dumb. Don't be stupid. We need to win this war. Nope, not good enough. Those two will fall quickly and then hopefully... Oh, that is falling too. Antwerp on the other end. Burgundy is catching up. I was hoping if we weakened Burgundy enough, France would join in and attack, but... That apparently didn't help, or didn't happen, which is too bad. However, their capital is now under siege, which does give them a much higher incentive for peace. Yeah, it's almost enough. Almost enough. Do I make the sacrifice play here? I think I do. Or not. Because apparently the AI is not about to defend that army. Which is funny. I was hoping I could pull them off that siege and make them come after me. But apparently, because it's so close to them winning, they're going to stay on it. Which is what the AI does. Come on. I don't even know even if we win this, if we can actually win this. Come on, 49%. 14, 21, 22, negative 7. Eh. We're slowly losing the sieging war now. Um, grant privileges. Come on, 49%. Nope. Oh. Wait. Austria's army is here. Hi, Austria. Any chance we can beat that Burgundian army before they retake that province? Okay, they are, they're going in. Hey, we did it. There we go. The war is over. It's just a matter of cleanup now. There we go. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Okay. Um... We could take both of those and lose Antwerp, which is actually about as valuable as it is. I don't think we need Antwerp to form the Netherlands. Um, no, we don't. So let's take the other two. Uh, we'll leave that and we'll take these two. Oh, wow, that's even worse now. Why did it get suddenly higher? Or I could do that. Um, cancel subjects. We'll force them to cancel those two. We'll take those two. Actually, wait, let's try this. Um, since we can't form the Netherlands for a while. Okay, uh, Grand Independence. If we take just those two. That's actually not bad. Okay, and then we will cancel subjects for Brabant, which will force these guys to be independent. We could do that, but that would that would annoy everybody in Europe. That's a small coalition. And then if we do war reparations, I think we got it. Okay, there we go. Independence. Now, of course, I have to be careful because I just massively offended everybody in Europe. How typical, huh? 
Okay, let's just do a quick cleanup here and then we will stop. So outrage countries, core these two, raise autonomy, unfortunately. Um, move back to there. We have one loan. We need rivals. We will rival Brabant. We will rival Giltry. And that's all we will rival for the moment. And there we go. That is an independent Holland with 80 developments. And I still have alliances with everybody else that matters. So actually, let's put one of these to promote relations with allies. Okay, that is episode one. Thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.